Hello and welcome to the class two part two. Let's go and start with what kind of method you you generally in the workflow. Let's suppose if you have some utility class, okay, or something which you want to is use for you know uh, triggering the email purpose or saving some data. So the easiest way you can use the a static method so this is generally we you know use because if you want to use the instance method some extra stuff you will have to do so this is the general answer you can give another question what how you can use the instance method of a class in a workflow or another question it can be if you are going to use the instance method of a class is it so simple means will you be directly use the instance method of a class in a workflow so answer will be see you can directly use the instance method of the class in a workflow but it will not work you know in the class you will have to do some extra stuff what do this stuff you will have to do you have to use one interface called if underscore workflow and second you have to write some codes in the different methods so once you add if underscore workflow here if you see this you know if underscore workflow then extra attribute the uh, extra attribute ba underscore object and ba underscore persistent extra interface basically these two extra interface will be automatically added once you add this if underscore workflow so this is the first step add if underscore workflow then in the attribute section you will have to define one attribute of type sibflpor and another attribute of type character 32 after that then in the constructor you will have to write this piece of code i will be sharing this ppt with you and in this method you will have to write this particular piece of code okay then in this method you will have to write this piece of code and in this method you will have to write this piece of code so this is what you will have to know or you can find it out through the google or it is there in our course in it with the detailed explanation what is the use of this why it is used no, and why it is required everything is mentioned so now you know this is the settings you will have to do now let's go to the second question which fm is used to start the workflow in a program okay so you should remember this i have shown you by writing in practical right SWU underscore start underscore workflow. You will have to just pass the name of the workflow with the container detail and it will start the workflow, right? This method, uh, this function module, you just remember. 